And she says she is grateful that she was required to get flood insurance when she refinanced last year. A big push to raise the minimum wage rolls into Raleigh today. It comes a day after the U.S. Senate dealt a major blow to supporters for a higher minimum wage. WRL's Leila Santiago is live in Raleigh to tell us about how those supporters plan to make their voices heard today. Leila? So this is the effort of a national group called Americans United for Change. And today, they will be joined by local church and organizational leaders, even some minimum wage workers in North Carolina. They'll start in Greensboro and then head on over here to Raleigh. This comes at a very interesting time. Because as you mentioned, yesterday at the U.S. Senate level, the U.S. Senate decided not to raise the federal minimum wage from 725 an hour to ten dollars and ten cents an hour democrats argued the nearly three dollar raise would have helped working americans especially um those living in poverty republicans say it's just too costly for small businesses and would eventually lead to layoffs so when it comes to north carolina senators republican senator richard burr voted against the proposal democrat senator Kay hagan voted for it. Right now, 19 states have raised the minimum wage to go above the federal level. North Carolina, not one of those. So that raise uh, for America, or give America a raise bus, rather, will be in Raleigh at 2.30 right here at the Martin Street Baptist Church. They'll be joined with other leaders and will have speeches and rallies to call for a raise in the federal minimum wage. All right, Layla Santiago, live in Raleigh. Thank you, Layla. Ukraine is getting some financial help. The International Monetary Fund approved a 